Today we're in Betty's kitchen. Betty, what are we making this morning? Homemade buttermilk biscuits from scratch. Okay, what are we going to use for ingredients? Well, first of all, I use Hudson cream, self rising flour. Okay. I use pure buttermilk. Okay. A spoon in a bowl. That's just all you Okay, need. Betty, how do we start? First, you take about four cups of flour in a bowl. Okay. And approximately two cups of buttermilk. Okay, what do we do next? You simply pour the buttermilk into the flour and stir. Okay, let's go ahead and get this started. Okay. You pour about half of your buttermilk into the flour and you just slowly mix. And as you mix, uh, you keep adding until your mixture is just the right consistency. Anyway, you keep pouring your uh, buttermilk and mixing. So we do this kind of slow, just so we don't really beat the flour a whole lot. Right. Up. You simply want to mix it real well. That's it. And you pour your buttermilk just so much at a time because you don't want to take a chance of getting too much. Okay, Betty, any preparation before we did anything else? Only I had my pan in the preheated oven about 350 degrees. Okay. And what do we have on the pan, Betty? I have sausage grease, always. If you're fixing bacon, bacon grease is fine, but otherwise, either kind of sausage. And if you don't want that special flavor, you can always use Pam just to spray on. But personally, I don't care for that. Okay, Betty, what do we do with the pan now? Okay, you want to make sure the whole bottom of your pan is covered with your oil or grease. Okay. I'll finish it a little bit here and then I'm all ready to fold my biscuits. My dough is ready and you really should use your dough just about as fast as you can. Okay. Okay. Meantime, in a plate, I have just plain flour. Okay. That I will, uh, I'll show you how to to do the first one and then it just continues right through till you have the whole pan full. As you can see my flour is already beginning to rise a little bit. I'm taking too long. Okay, this will be my first biscuit. And your biscuits can be any size it any size you want yourself. And then you lift it and it goes on your pan. And it continues all through till you got your pan full with your biscuits. Okay, let's put a few more on there and see how this goes. Okay, let's do that. And so you're just kind of fluffing up the flour onto the roll, the yes, wet the, dough. Yeah, just simply so the dough won't stick to my fingers. And if it looks real, real easy, it is, but I've done it for so many years. Every time you do it, it makes it just a little bit easier. A lot of people like large biscuits, large fluffy biscuits. My children does, a couple of them, one of them like just a little thin biscuit. So it's your choice, whatever you want to do. About how many biscuits you figure you've made? Over the years? Over the years. Oh my. I have no idea on world. Thousands? No doubt. No doubt. They must be pretty good. They are. They're real good. My kids lose all over, and when they come home, that's the first thing they want is my buttermilk biscuits. So I'm real proud of that. Okay, my biscuits are ready to go in the oven, but first I put a little grease on top of each one so they'll brown better and also give them a better flavor. Okay. Okay. I'm putting my biscuits in the oven for 45 minutes at 425 degrees. Good job, Betty. We'll check on them in 30 minutes. Thank you. Okay, it's been about a half an hour, and I'm going to check my biscuits now to see if they're browning the way I want them to brown. Okay. Here we go. 
go. I like to catch the bottom. They still got a little time to go. You can see they're getting a little brown in the top of the oven. Okay, you can see they're not as brown as I like. And I have been known to turn my oven up just a little bit more, which I'm going to do to help the bottom get, I turned it up to 450 to maybe help the bottom brown a little more. That's it. Now I'm checking on my biscuits. It's been 45 minutes. There they are. One beautiful pan biscuit. And it was all worth it. My biscuits are done. Just say, let's get some butter on these biscuits. Just pause, look at me, and say it. Okay. Well, let's get some butter on the biscuits. Again. Again. <laughs> I am so freaking. Give me a trend, Lord. 